Hello everyone, this is Brett Darian, and some of you may already know that I've gotten this tape deck recently. This is a Kenwood KXW8050. I've taken the uh, plastic covers off to help reduce uh, reflection. But the point of this video is, is that I will be demagnetizing the heads in this cassette deck, as well as cleaning the heads. Many of the pros recommend that when you get a tape deck like this, um, because these tape decks are very old, it's a good idea to demagnetize the tape heads because because what happens is is after years of playing tapes, the tape heads can get a magnetic field, and when that happens, your tapes can sound bad. And if the magnetization is severe enough, it may even start to erase your tapes. Now, it's still up for debate if this actually happens or how concerning it really is. And if you should demagnetize your heads at all, really, especially on a two-head deck like this. Because on a two-head deck, the record and play head are right next to each other. And... When you record a tape, you're, uh, you're generating a magnetic field, and that could actually demagnetize the heads instantly uh, whenever you record. Uh, now, on a three-head deck, the record head and play head are not right next to each other, so uh, demagnetization might be more of an issue with a three-head deck, not a two-head deck like this. But still, it does not hurt to demagnetize your tape deck anyway, uh, just be on the safe side. Uh, because you don't know its history um, when you buy a used deck like this. And these decks are very old, like even this one's like 25 years old. And of course there are decks that are even older than this one. So depending on how old your deck is, and if you know it's been heavily used, it might be a good idea to demagnetize uh, your heads. So I'll be doing that today. And the way I'll be doing it is using this vinyl style audio cassette head cleaner and demagnetizer. This is an actual cassette that you put in your tape deck and it has a spinning magnet which is right here and that spins and that will demagnetize your head and this cleaning solution will clean uh, your heads as well as the pinch roller and the capstan. Uh, there are electromagnets that you can buy that plug into the wall and you actually hold them up to the tape head and you stick them in and you bring them really close to the tape head and that will also demagnetize the heads and some may argue that that is a better way to do it but if you do that improperly you may actually end up magnetizing your head even more than it was previously so with this method there's no guesswork you just put it in and it demagnetizes. Now, this may not demagnetize as well since it's not electrical magnet. I'm not really sure, but I just wanted to do it this way because it's easier and it, it, there is still a magnet in here that spins, so hopefully this will at least help. The back just says to, to insert five or six drops of cleaning fluid, and then you just press play, and then allow the tape to run until it stops, and then you're done. It doesn't mention auto reverse, but on the front it does say that it automatically reverses. So I guess they do want you to run the tape completely even after it auto reverses. Because that will also clean the pinch roller and capstan for playing in reverse. It says here this tape head cleaner uh, will easily clean and demagnetizes heads and rollers. It demagnetizes your system by using a spinning magnet which removes remnant magnetic fields or polarity that can distort playback. At the same time, the cleaning tape buffs the heads and rollers. So we'll just open this up right now. So here's the cassette. This is the front of it. You see the magnet right here. And the reels here, they're kind of connected at the back. So I'm not sure what that's for. But we'll find out. And they also give you two bottles of cleaning solution, so that's very handy. 
so this should last a while. And it also recommends to clean the heads approximately every 40 hours of playing time. So before we start, I'll show you the tape heads in their current condition. This is deck A. There's the pinch roller. And there's the play and record head. And this is the pinch roller and capstan for playing in reverse. And this is deck B. It's the pinch roller and capstan for playing in forwards. There's the play and record head and the pinch roller and capstan for rec uh, for playing in reverse. All right, so let's start. So again, this is the cassette. You take your little bottle of solution, you unscrew the cap. And you do have to like pierce through this little tube. I've already done that. And now, so it says to insert five or six drops through this slot right here. And I'm assuming you actually do it so that it so that the uh, so that the dots get right on the tape. So that's one, it's two, it's three, four, five, and six. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to get actually on the tape itself, or if it just wants it to go right into the uh, the wheel here, but we will find out. Maybe it doesn't even matter. So that little clip that I showed earlier, you have to actually remove that first before you put it in your deck. Alright, so we'll put this in. We'll do deck A first. We'll turn it on. And now we'll just press play. So you can see the magnet spinning as well as the reel spinning. Now it's already done. Now it reverses and it's doing the reverse side. And now it is done. So that took about maybe 30 seconds or so. So not bad. So this is what deck A looks like after being cleaned. It doesn't really look any different. There's just not enough solution, I think, to really wet the pinch roller that much. Looks like the pinch roller for playing in reverse didn't really get wet at all. Okay, so now we will clean deck B. So I'm going to reapply the drops here. It's one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to try to get it where it gets inside. Sometimes it just runs off the cassette housing. It doesn't actually get inside. All right, so now let's clean this one. Now it's playing in reverse. And now it is done. So this is deck B after cleaning. Once again, you can see the pinch roller for playing forwards got a little wet. But the one for playing in reverse did not really get wet. So it's probably still best to clean these using a cotton swab and some isopropyl alcohol. But hopefully at least again the, the head got demagnetized. So you feel a little safer now playing tapes that you care about. So that is how you clean and demagnetize your tape heads using the vinyl style audio cassette head cleaner and demagnetizer. 
So now, if your tape deck actually does have a magnetization issue, uh, you will hear a difference in playback um, after you demagnetize your heads. But this deck here in particular, I don't think had any problem with uh, magnetization. Uh, but I just wanted to do it uh, just to be on the safe side and to also show you guys how it's done using this method anyway using an actual cassette with your cleaning solution so anyhow guys that'll do it for this video but I thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my future videos I will have another video coming up on how to calibrate this tape deck so stay tuned for that in the meantime though thank you guys for watching feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next time